Jesus is quiet here. There is not much happening. It's very peaceful. I'm a bit confused. It's, well, it's all just, there's a lot of nothing. I chose this space because I knew we wouldn't be bothered here. Where, where are we? Today we're coming to you from Tony Abbott's brain. Oh, right. Oh, oh, ew. Oh, okay. No, good. Yeah. All but you right. can see why I picked it. Yeah. It's, it's all very, um, very traditionally nothing. Yeah. It's been smoothed down. There's no sort of spiky edges of challenging thoughts here. Yeah, no. I like that. Yeah, no. There are no surprises here. No. You knew exactly what you were going to find before you got here. There's some ugliness in the corners, though. I there is the one, well, let's call it a topographical feature here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I call them pulsing balls of hate. Ah, uh, that makes sense. I mm. can, yeah, no, I can see the outlines. Mm. Yeah, Some yeah. scientists refer to them as the troll centres. Ah, uh, yeah. Because yeah. when one looks at Tony Abbott, Australia's Prime Minister, one sees exactly the same behaviour one sees in the worst sort of internet troll. I know. It's weird, isn't it? It really is. It's, it's like he's setting himself up just to do things that are anti for no good reason mm. but that they're anti. It's like, it's like, you know, he wants to smack people over the nose like a 15-year-old who has all the time in the world to fuck up your day. Yeah, it's, it's come down to the evidence was there before the election even, <laughs> when one of his uh, senior staffers got drunk at a charity event and abused the head of the charity, uh, which was for Indigenous education, uh, making sure the young Indigenous kiddies uh, go to school, finish mm. school. And he collared the head of this charity and said, when we're in charge, we're going to cut your throat. It's basically, we're sick of you bleeding heart lefties. <sighs> And we are going to go out of our way to fuck you over. Isn't that delightful that they had it a is. hit list before they got in government? That's sweet, isn't it? To think that they govern for all Australians except the ones they don't like. Mm. And Abbott and his crew were renowned for being uh, the anti-feminist, mm -hmm. uh, anti-green, mm -hmm. anti-union, mm -hmm. uh, anti-anyone who's not them. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And hilariously, the steps that have been taken in just the few short months that they've been in power, including uh, Tony Abbott appointing himself Minister for Women. Which is the best. I thought when that came out, I thought, get the writer a medal. That's champagne comedy. And then mm. they said, no, no, it's for real. And I laughed again. And, yeah, I, I know. and then we were rolling around. And I said, no, no, really, that's champagne. Yeah. But you've got to stop. I can't breathe. Yeah. And they said, no, it's real. And I'm crying, crying. like yeah. you know. And then I started crying. Yeah, at a certain point, you go from tears of laughter to just tears when you realise, oh my God, this is my country. Yeah. Or it yeah. used to be. I and yeah, I, I have to deal with this. <laughs> and I don't have the ticket out. Yeah. And after doing away with the women's ministry and saying he'd do that now, mm. uh, they d did away with the science ministry. What do those eggheads know? What them do they know, thinking. really? Them and their thinking. They're thinking. What's that all about? Oh. They just tell you stuff you don't want to yeah. hear, like the moon's too far away and the environment's in trouble. Yes. They just tell you stuff you don't want to hear, like you're running out of fuel and you've got no realistic replacement so that your whole economy's going to go down the shitter. They just tell you stuff you don't like. Yeah. And Why would you have them? In terms of the environment, let's see, he's decided to do some dredging uh, and dumping of the dredging on the Great Barrier Reef, uh, a, a rather irreplaceable uh, natural wonder of the world. But hey, no, no, fuck no, no, it, no, coal, no, no, right? Coal, uh, yeah. And uh, they also have decided he's pushing to delist some World Heritage listed forest in Tasmania, even though no one was asking him to. Mm. Yeah, and in fact, there was a peace deal because the Green Lobby had effectively uh, killed the market for rare woods. They mm. couldn't make any money. So they said, OK, if we agree that this is all national park now, uh, you'll stop having uh, our other forestry products boycotted. And everyone, yeah, yeah, deal, yeah deal, deal, deal. Out of the blue, with no one asking him to, Tony Abbott's gone, yeah, no, fuck that. No, chop the fuckers down. Yeah. Chop them down. 
get rid of that. Who wants a tree? They just sit there, they've got ants in them. You can't, you can't even put a hammock up anymore. Oh, bloody national parks, they're for woozies and pussies and bloody, bloody glibo feminine crashes. And if I, had, if I had to sum up why this guy pisses me off so much, it was this pandering speech he gave to the forestry industry where, among other things, he described uh, the logging industry as the real environmentalists. Uh, and then he went on to invoke God in his argument. That's why what he was saying was right, because God wants humans to use the environment for their own gain. Now, OK, it is actually illegal to suggest that someone should stab the Prime Minister That's true. That in the head hmm. with a bus. Yeah. But it's yeah. events like this Whoever. that make those thoughts cross my mind. You know. And, Fleetingly. And when I when I look at the current state of the health system and I go, you know, it's really good or was. Mm. It was yep. and it's slowly, gently slipping away. And they are actively trying to convert our health system that works uh, to something more like the American system that doesn't work. It's a chronic and destructive failure. That lets people die, that costs more money than our health system, but because socialism. Okay? Socialism. Bloody communists. So we've got that. Let's see. So he's, he's trolled anyone you know uh, interested in women's things? causes. Anyone interested in environmental causes, anyone interested in the health thing, and now they're going predictably after unions. Uh, there's going to be a royal commission. Yeah. Unions are bad. Yeah. And I, for one, will not shy away from the fact there is some corrupt behaviour, some really negative behaviour, and some stuff that needs to stop mm. that is being pushed by people quite high up in the union movement. True story. There is also stuff that's criminal behaviour thuggish behaviour, illegal behaviour that needs to stop, that's at the high end of the business side of the and world. And it is rampant and has been riding roughshod now for about 10 years. And it's getting to the point where people who are normally white, Anglo-Saxon and Protestant are starting to feel it. Mm. So we're really on a razor's edge of, you know, push me, touch you, I'm going to lick your brains. And if you think, just making that up because, you know, radical whiny lefties, when this Royal Commission was announced, one of the groups who went, oh, really, was the people who represent the builders and developers. Absolutely. Because they know... They are in it up to their balls. They, they are know their balls. no Royal Commission looking at uh, corrupt behaviour at union behaviour. Uh, they know it can't fail to uncover corrupt behaviour from developers and builders. Oh, so God. they're a little bit iffy so about the, that seeing the light of day. The cross-lobbying has been going on furiously in the background and there is money flying all over the place to get this thing shaped. The terms of reference is shaped just the way it should be. Mm. But I'll tell you what, it's going to be an abortion. It's going to be all over the place. It feels like the downfall of Abbott and his crew is going to be their arrogance. Like, mm. they, they've drunk the Kool-Aid. They believe their own lies. Mm. And there's no better indication, like, this Royal Commission could really screw them over, backfire badly. Big time. There's no better uh, indication of how their arrogance is likely to be their undoing than a few little tips that happened uh, uh, in the Assistant Health Minister's office. It turns out that the Assistant Health Minister employed people who used to be lobbyists for companies that health might not be their primary concern. Hang on, what are you, are you, are you suggesting? This is people who promote alcohol, who promote fast food, snack food, all things I enjoy, I'll just throw that out there. But there is somewhat at odds with the health department and this former lobbyist working for the assistant health minister was instrumental in having a website taken down that was ranking the relative healthful qualities or lack thereof of different food type products uh, that made some food type products that were put out by guys this guy used to work for made their products look not healthy 
lo and behold, the site was taken down. Um, and he also looked at defunding a health group uh, that was regarded as the best in the country for minimising harm from alcohol consumption. So uh, he's then he's made two arbitrary decisions that appear to be against the health interests of Australia, and this was what the Australian Medical Association said about these decisions, not in the interests of Australians, um, but in the interests of companies that he used to work for. And I'm not saying that's uh, corruption and he should be sent to jail and probably thrown in the bottom of the poo pit that all the prisoners poo in because he likes that sort of thing. Yeah, I, I might be suggesting that, but I'm very foolish and mm. therefore my ideas can't be trusted at all, but I'm, I'm saying that. Yeah, but as uh, an opposition spokesperson, uh, Penny Wong, pointed out, this guy had actually signed a declaration that he had no conflict of interest Whoops in representing daisy. the health portfolio. And the guy then called this simple statement of fact that was coming out in some media outlets as a, a witch hunt. And so he resigned to, you know, just call the witch hunt off, not to avoid being prosecuted or anything like that. That, that wasn't his motivation at all. No. But it's that degree of ever arrogance that seems like it's going to pull uh, this government down. Because when even Rupert Murdoch's conservative media outlets are highlighting these things, you're starting to have a problem. You're starting to smell, you know. There's, there's one that young Iranian fella died on Manus Island and that's not going away. They thought that it would, yeah. but it's not going away and it's only getting worse and it's only festering. And yeah. so that's going to be a big problem. But, but they, their they, saving they, grace on that is the Labor opposition has no high ground there. They're responsible for essentially the same policies. Uh, since the Howard years, the... Uh, Liberals and Labor have been trying to outbogan each other in spreading hate and lies about uh, asylum seekers. So I think that's actually going to be their saving grace on that, that neither side wants that explored because they've all got blood on their hands on Except that one. Except it's just not going away. It's no, just not going away. But when both major parties and all media outlets have blood on their hands over this, I honestly think that while it's the most disgusting in many ways and should be the one that brings them down, I don't think it's going to. I think they've actually got a free ride on that because it's got to the stage, well it's been consistent since the Howard years, they've managed to convince approximately two thirds of the country that we need to teach these dirty brown people a lesson and we need to treat them even worse. So. You know, that's what we're exploring here today. And I think I'm going to leave you for a while now and maybe go and kick some of the wobbly bits that we've seen in hiding in the corners. That'd be cool. Can I piss in the crevices? Yeah, yeah. And so if you notice any improvements in uh, Tony Abbott's behaviour, it's probably because he has been pissing in the crevices of his brain. Sweet. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye.